What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own key commands inside of Cubase. So let's get right to it. Okay, so key commands are essentially what we call hotkeys or shortcuts that you can create by manipulating the settings inside of Cubase and create your own unique key commands that can allow you to do certain things that you would normally do with three clicks. You can now do with a click of a button on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and check out where we see our key command list. So we're going to go to the edit menu here and we're going to go all the way down to key commands. So this window is going to come up and you're going to see that it shows every single thing that Cubase does. It's going to show up on this list. And what you can do is you can find certain things that will help you speed up your workflow and create key commands for them. So, for example, a big one that I like to use is when you first buy Cubase, it does not come with a bounce shortcut. You have to actually go to let me just get out of this really quick. You have to go to file, go to export and then you go to audio mix down. And this is a key command that I've created so that anytime I need to export something, I don't have to go into this menu. So I have to click one time, highlight, and then click another time. So that's already three steps that I need to do in order for me to get to this audio mix down menu. And I just hit command shift B. And now I have my audio mix down window here. So the way I created this was I go to edit, go to key commands. And then the cool thing is that if you know what the name of whatever it is that you're trying to create the key command for, you don't need to search the list. You can just go here and put audio mix down, hit enter, and it's going to automatically open up where it's at in inside of Cubase. So the file menu, and then you're going to go to where it says export audio mix down. So I'm actually going to do this key command again, so I can show you how to create a key command because the options aren't very intuitive here. So let's go through the steps. I'm going to highlight export audio mix down. I'm going to trash this with this little delete icon here and hit remove. And now I've removed the key command that I had created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight where it says type in key and I'm going to do the following. So command shift and B. Here's my key command. Now, if this was assigned to something like, for example, well, I'm going to do command S, it's going to tell you it's been assigned to file save. This is how you know that a key command has been taken and you want to try to either avoid it or you can override it. So for this example, I'm not going to override it because command save is the universal save button on Mac. So I want to keep it there because that's already something that I'm used to. And I'm going to go back to my command shift B. And as you can see, it's assigned to nothing. And now I click assigned and there I have my key command. So when I hit OK and then I press my key command, command shift B, my export audio mix down menu comes up. And now I don't need to go through the three steps in order to get to the audio mix down. It may not seem like a big deal right now, but if you add up in a week, however many times you go into export, you know, audio mix down, click and you do these three steps, you start to see that you can save a ton of time. Again, you can just go in here and you can start changing all the key commands. If let's say you just want to start all over, you can just hit reset all and you can go back to the default settings that Cubase comes with the default key commands. In the next video of the key commands, I'm going to show you how to create macros. Now macros are something super, super huge inside of Cubase Pro because you can create a series of steps by using one key command. That's what's awesome about macros. If you have any questions throughout the video, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check it out. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.